Um, in the subject of high-profile people having views, uh, disgraceful views from Jeremy Clarkson, I think yeah. everybody on the planet uh, ag agrees on that. Isla, do you want to yeah. just remind everyone what he said today and what's been well, written and, and, and the outcry? I mean, I, I feel quite disgusting even to have to read these words out. He wrote, this is uh, regards to Meghan Markle, he is dreaming of the day when she's made to parade naked through the streets of every town in Britain while the crowds chant shame and throw lumps of excrement at her. Now this, you can probably hear, I'm so angry. Um, to, for a man to say, I mean, there's something really wrong here to say in a cellular lever. He hates her more than Rosemary West, a killer. Now, a whatever, your killer. Views, whatever your views are about royalty, royals, famous people, doing a documentary, making money, I'm sorry, this is really wrong. And, and this is the second time we've had, I would say, an alpha male with narcissistic tendencies. We've had Piers Morgan and Jeremy Clarkson. I mean, are they really that strong royalists that they feel so strongly to speak about her in that way? It's completely inappropriate. And I'm glad celebrities have spoken out against him. I think we've got John Bishop, Carol Vorderman, and even his own daughter said, I absolutely do not, uh, what did she say? I, I, stand against, I stand against everything that my, he, he's written. Uh, and I'm in support of those who are targeted online with hatred. This is inciting hatred. I mean, it's absolutely disgusting language. And I think he needs to be... Cancel culture's a thing, and I know sometimes we're too quick, but this is one I feel really strongly about. But we're playing his game. We're talking about it. We're, we're playing... He, he, it's done to, to oh, draw yeah, attention. Just... And it's great for the son, it's great for him. He thinks he's being heard. I think if you haven't got something positive to say, don't say anything. That's, that is yeah. my view. Just shut up. If you haven't got something nice to say, we don't want to hear from you. Uh, it is the season to be jolly. So my view would be, whoop, don't talk about it anymore. Hour after hour is just giving more fuel to this and getting more indignant. The yeah. best thing to do, silence, as somebody once said, is the unbearable repartee. If it just happened and we just put it to, under the cat litter, that's what you do with it. I mean, it, 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 it's written and printed for a reaction. <laughs> and, yeah. we, and we're giving it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my feeling is, it's Jeremy Clarkson, oh God, move on. You know, that, that's my view. I, I think as a woman, it's quite hard to move on oh. from, from those <laughs> remarks. Excuse me, you wouldn't know about it unless people in the media, not that many people read The Sun, it's been fuelled by us. And I'm not going to say anything more about it because it just actually aggrandises it, honestly. I am with you, Joe, so I don't think it's something that can be ignored, and I think he does need to be brought to task over this. I think it's absolutely disgraceful for him to speak about women in that way. We have, we have a huge issue. It's a, a worldwide problem, violence against women carried out by men, and comments like that are just absolutely disgraceful, unacceptable, the, abhorrent. Uh, and the editor of The Sun mm. is a woman, which I yeah. find... Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, of course, I know the media, they do things to, you know, clicks and da 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 and whatever, it's all for advertising, but... And yes, we are, to a degree, playing the game. However, there are some things that people do need to be um, brought to task on, and this is one of them. I'm, I'm, How do you bring him to task? I don't know, sack him from every job he's got. I grew up with Top Gear, it was my favourite programme. I've got three brothers, and I, I loved it when they, they were doing it. And I know he's arrogant, and I know that's part of his shtick, if you like, but this is just not acceptable. So I don't think he should be earning any money doing anything public again, because, until he apologises, and actually goes and maybe does a course and understands why it's so wrong. The, the multi-layers of misogyny in that, and racism, it's just it's so bad to, to have a woman naked, paraded in Britain and have, sh pardon my, sorry, excrement is the daytime television version of it. It's just, oh, sorry. Very no, upset I, about I, it. I com look, I completely understand. Yeah. You're right to get annoyed. And yeah. I think something does have to happen off the back of it. And this story will run and run. I have a feeling, Giles, we'll be talking about this again over the course of the week. I'm we'll sure you will. But condition. the more you do, the more fuel you give to it. That's I what know. I'm saying. Mm. Yeah. Uh, silence is the unbearable repartee. If nobody had noticed, if it had moved on, well, that really would well, have been the, the ultimate The silence would have been not to print it. That would of have course. been the correct, correct. It is correct. the editor's decision, but the yeah. editor's line would be, well, are there limits to free speech? And you're saying there are, and I agree with you. That's why we have legislation yeah. against this sort of thing.